front of my house right here. So what I've done is taken this unit and placed it underneath the here, which covers the whole front of my house. And there's my dog, and he's not bothered by it one bit. All right, I got the Virene Ultrasonic Pest Repellent. What a cool concept. This was sent to me for evaluation purposes so I could show it to you, but all opinions are gonna be my own. I just wanna show you what you get with this, how it works, and some tips for using it. Comes with a nine volt DC adapter, so this does work off of electricity. Comes with the unit, and it comes with a set of instructions, but it's pretty simple to use. Basically, this thing emits high frequency sounds to drive pests away, you know, squirrels, mice, rats, cockroaches, insects. One thing you're gonna to wanna to consider here if you're using this is that if you have any hamsters in the house, gerbils, rabbits, uh, pet spider, that kind of thing, it might drive them nuts. So something to take into consideration, but pretty simple to use. Just plug it in. It's got a little slider switch here on the back that has four different settings. One of them is a test setting. I'll just hit this real quick. It emits a high pitched noise that lets you know that it is working. A setting called ultra, a setting called trans, and a setting called duo. When you have it in the ultra setting, the light on the top indicates blue to let you know that it's in the ultra setting. Also, trans is green, and if you switch it to duo, it's blue-green. But the ultra setting is going to be what you want to use for mice, rats, that kind of thing, spiders. And when you turn it to the trans setting, you said it turns green. That's the setting you want for squirrels and that kind of thing. So if you had squirrels in your attic, you want to set this to the trans setting. Or you could set it to the duo setting which sends out the frequencies for squirrels and mice. So maybe that's your best option. Mice I do get in the winter. I'm gonna set this out in my kind of my living room area, which will hopefully cover my front door. It says it'll cover 1,076 square feet with each of these. So I should be fine in that case. If you've got this on a dark place, it's got LED lights that'll flash. I'm gonna cover up the sensor here. There's a light sensor on the back. You can see I'll cover this up and it sends off. It emits lights, just to, another thing to drive rodents nuts when they're trying to get comfortable in the dark. So also another feature of this is that it will vary the frequency slightly, you know, uh, mice and rodents will get used to a, a frequency after a while. So it varies it up uh, so that they can never get comfortable. This is safe for humans and it's safe for dogs and cats. It's just the rodent type pets that you want to be concerned with. Hamsters, gerbils, rabbits, spiders, tarantulas, etc. But yeah, it looks like a pretty cool, like non-invasive device to use to drive away rodents rather than catching them and having to dispose of them yourself. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I've got winter time coming up, so I'm going to set this up by the front door and see how it works. So if you're looking for a hands-off pest repellent, this thing's pretty much set it and forget it. Plug it in, set it in the area that you want to cover, and let it do its job. Check out this one by Veering. Check it out.